Paul Robeson was an extraordinary man, a scholar, athlete, linguist, singer, actor, orator and activist who fought for equality throughout his life. He was born in New Jersey in 1898, the son of an escaped slave and a teacher. Despite his outstanding achievements in everything he tackled, he was continually subjected to racial abuse, but always rose above it. He qualified as a lawyer, but it was impossible for a black to represent a client in court. When a white secretary refused to take dictation from him, he quit. He had already embarked upon his acting career and became a star of films and theatre. Some of his best-known roles were in the musical Showboat and as Shakespeare's tragic hero, Othello. Proud Valley was his most successful attempt to convey his politics in his acting. It also cemented his relationship with Wales. His first contact with Wales was during the 1929 Depression, when he spontaneously joined a group of miners singing for money to sustain themselves. That year he donated the proceeds from one of his concerts to their relief fund and visited the Rhondda Valley to sing for the mining communities. Later he sang to commemorate the 33 Welshmen who died in Spain fighting fascism in the late 1930s. During World War II he returned to America and became a prominent voice for democracy and refused to sing for segregated audiences. He gave war relief benefit concerts and spoke at rallies. Yet some were already accusing him of being a communist. He was summoned to a Senate committee and asked whether he was a communist, but he refused to answer. The repercussions of this witch hunt included the removal of Robeson's passport in 1950. His links with Wales didn't end, however. In 1957, unable to travel, he sang over the phone to the miners I Stedford in Puthcall where despite an epidemic of Asian flu, 5,000 people crammed into the pavilion to listen. He listened as performers from Wales sang back to him. The whole gathering sang, we keep a welcome in the hillside. And for those who attended, it was a very emotional experience, especially when Robeson told the packed hall, it seems I'm standing right there with you. He finally returned to Wales the following year when he recovered his passport and with his wife was the special guest at the Ebbo Vale National Night Stedford, where he sang and addressed the audience. The hall was full and some of those who couldn't be squeezed in stood outside crying with disappointment at missing out on one of the experiences of a lifetime. When he died in 1976 the South Wales miners organised a commemorative concert in the Puthcall Pavilion. The success of the Paul Robeson exhibition, covering every aspect of his life which toured Wales, and the hit tribute song by the Welsh band, the Manic Street Preachers, show that his message is just as important today. <laughs>